sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Flores! Flores! Estás bien? Gladys? Where'd you go this time? Hear the name of the Great One. Glottis. Glottis. What's happening? How many days has this Grand Demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the Noble One will surely die. But... Glottis, I'm sorry. Many. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save everyone. Are you in much pain, my friend? Only because I let you down, Manny. What can I get you? Will anything help? I need to race to fly like, like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, carnal. Maybe I'll see her on the other side. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <laughs> no more hot rod. Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. Listen, fellas, somebody, somebody get a pen. There it is. My final work. It could save me if you have the right... <coughs> The right <coughs> fuel. What fuel, Gladys? Gladys. Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. That train. Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in El Maro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. I have to go. You're no help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Oh, not again. Hey, 
How'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody gave me no ticket, so nobody can take it away. So what are you pacing around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Gotta even out my life in this world before I go on to the next, you know? Well, that ought to do her. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I could march around in it like Chibito, but I think a better way to even out my life would be to go get those tickets. I hereby dub thee Chibito's Fountain in honor of the strange oily film he left upon your waters. Wow, this mural has all the stuff we didn't put in the brochures. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you he left this note. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Híjole. Gladys would love these. Looks like standard DOD issue. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. It's full of caskets. Hello? Whew, they're empty. It looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're brilliant. It looks like blueprint. They're. It looks like blue. They're. Gladys, what fuel? Oh. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. It's full of rags. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. I already have a rag I don't know what to do with. There's a note next to this toaster. To avoid further mishaps, please butter your English muffins after you toast them. Facilities. Well, it's good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. This better not stay in my pocket. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room.
What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life! Come back to us someday! Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mio! She's been booby-trapped. By who? Who? Those dominoes are like one long fuse. I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. I don't think my hands are steady enough for that. Poor guy, so nervous, I think he's gonna be sick. Don't panic. Gah! Looks like Domino left his calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. <laughs> Maintenance has gotten pretty lax around here, apparently. Yeah, it's me, Manny. I was just passing through town and... You asked for Bunny. Wow. Still mad. Oh, Tolo's plum tuckered out. No, I don't want to disturb his grumpy little dreams. Doesn't hurt. I am an artist. Manuel Calavera? <laughs> Well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket. Where is she? Oh, well, we traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? 
You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on at least. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. Due to the new curfew, elevator operation ceases at sunset. Curfew? Who's in charge of this place now? Coffin shooter one, two, three, just pour, chill, and serve. That's what the Lombago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. What's that? It's, uh, Lumbago Lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad tall. <whistles> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's Kitchen. Lumbago! Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. So what is that stuff they pack can hams in anyway? <laughs> Good show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. It's not gelling. It can't gel now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. Hey, good idea! I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Soon to be known as the Blown Wagon. Hey, that's not funny! Fiendish. Well, here goes nothing. Looks like Hector's taken over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too 
are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. Thank you, sir! You have saved me! But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement! What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. You idiot Bowsley! Your new lab assistant is a spy! Haven't you ever heard of a background check? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. 